Hello, my name is Sam Knight. I'm a writer from The Guardian newspaper in the UK and I have come to Papua New Guinea uh, to write about forests and climate change. Uh, forests are a crucial part of the puzzle in addressing climate change. Um, on the one hand, they do all this great stuff. They remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere uh, and store it in trees as uh, carbon. Uh, on the other hand, we are chopping them down. Um, and this not only releases carbon dioxide, but it also stops their ability to clean the atmosphere in the first place. Um, I've come to Papua New Guinea, which has the world's, one of the world's great remaining rainforests. I don't know how much of it uh, you can see uh, behind me, um, but it's the third largest in the world after the Amazon and Congo. And about 10 years ago, Papua New Guinea, the government here came up with an innovative idea to try and slow down and halt deforestation which was to try and pay countries uh, for the ecological services they provide. In other words, find a way to pay compensation to countries to encourage them not to chop down their forests and to recognize the role that forests play in soaking up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Um, this program, which is known slightly clunkily as reducing emissions from deforestation and degradation, or RED, uh, is a very elegant uh, abstract idea which has captured the imagination of a lot of governments and negotiators in the UN's negotiating process, the UNFCCC. And this summer, the technical rules were kind of finally thrashed out in Bonn and RED is expected to form part of any climate change deal uh, in Paris later this year. So I have come to Papua New Guinea, where the idea was first dreamt up, uh, to see how it is playing out on the ground. Um, and it's, it's a pretty fascinating picture. RED is an attractive idea. We need to find a way to recognize the role that the natural environment plays and to create financial incentives to stop people from destroying it um, and yet introducing it and rolling it out and implementing it uh, is a very vexed and difficult thing to do. Uh, Papua New Guinea is the least developed Pacific nation. Um, it is a country where 80% of people uh, derive their living from subsistence agriculture. It's got high levels of child mortality. It's got low levels of literacy. Uh, the place where I am right now is a research station um, about a 13 kilometer walk from the nearest village, which is called Wanang. And Wanang didn't have a school uh, until 2009. No education whatsoever. Um, so to introduce the idea of carbon trading to communities who traditionally have had very little actual empowerment about their their resources and the trees that get cut down by logging companies is a, a difficult undertaking to put it lightly.